you know, if, if people, if you keep it funky with me, then I respect you more. You know what I mean? Keep shit real. If you beefing with me or you got a problem with me, let me know uh, what you're afraid of. Same OG, never been interested in switching. Why change up? I guess you niggas got some identity hangups. Cause y'all do the most just to fucking be famous. Brainless. Niggas know me from back when I was juggling between rapping and hustling, splurging while y'all was budgeting. Other than that, nothing's different. I'm still pimping, I'm still spitting. Get out of pocket, I'm still tripping. Still whipping the current year vehicle. Niggas still coming with small talk, I still ain't hearing you. I'm still strapped though, I still prefer to throw hands. Niggas still clock to take me out the game, and still no chance. I ain't new to this, I'm true to this. And y'all niggas confusing this reality with music shit. The word real, y'all abusing it. That's when I have to laugh, cause y'all some funny niggas And if you know Gov, you know I keep it funky with you Niggas be switching up, I stay the same Yes yeah, sir, once again It's the awful, I'm back And I'm here tonight to bring you another exclusive interview With none other than the D's own Big Gov, what's good? What's up, man? What's good with you, man? Chillin', man. Right. Bless, 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 man. Okay. No. All right, so, so, so tell the people out there, tell the fans, tell the viewers what you do, who you are, where you come from, and what you bring to the people. I do music. <laughs> nah, okay. nah, nah, man. I, I do music, I do production, I do it all, man. Right, you know what I'm saying, the whole nine. But coming from Detroit, you know what I'm saying, all the way out here in Philly, Messing with Uncle Briss, man. It just shot a video out here to one of the records on the No Signs of Weakness album, which he reviewed, mm -hmm. which he gave a great review, mm -hmm. which got me a few more fans. Okay, you know okay. What I'm saying? I don't like using the word fans, fan. You know right. what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm just blessed, man, to be doing my thing. I love the music, I love hip hop. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Okay, all right. All right, so, so. Hip hop is big in Philly. It's it's big in Detroit, no doubt. Um, um, just tell the people why did you start doing this? Who who, who are some of your influences? It, it could be in the D. It could be anywhere. You know what what made you want to do what you did? Well, growing up growing up in the eighties, man, it was hard not to do hip hop. You know what I mean? It, Run DMC, Fat Boys, the most influential groups in hip hop. So. You know, it, it was just something that caught my ear at a young age. I loved it. I wanted to be a part of it, and I've been a part of it ever since. You okay. know what I'm saying? All right. So, so no signs of weakness. The deluxe version. If you do not have it, you definitely want to yes. go get it. Um, yes. It is something that I really, really enjoy. I have it on heavy rotation. Um, and you know, just it, it, it's a little personal, you know, which yeah. which which is something that I enjoy as a music listener. Right. And and just tell the people out here, I love the intro. I know it's something sentimental behind it. Yeah. Tell, tell tell the folks out there what the intro is about. The intro, you know, I, I kicked it off with the last voicemail that my mom left me three months before she passed away. She wow. lost a battle with cancer. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I really was trying to figure out what record would be perfect to put her voice in front of. Okay. And No Signs of Weakness, like hands down, was the record. Perfect. So I just took the, the voicemail, slapped it on the intro, and the rest is history. You okay. Know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. it, it made a lot of sense because it, it it set the tone for the rest of the album. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. And, yeah. And, and I definitely agree with that. And you got some other uh, stuff in your background, too. Um, a family member, your family members is really in your music. And, yeah, yeah. And my father, uh, mm -hmm. my father was uh, he was a singer. He uh, sung with a group called the Five Special, that was uh, managed by Ron Banks, the late Ron Banks of the Dramatics. Uh, they had their first deal with Electra Records. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, they only deal with Electra Records. Okay. And um, you know, for the most part, my father and my mom's used to sing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But my cousins was all rappers. It was it was crazy, man. It was one way you gonna hit music. You turn the next way you gonna hit music. You go this way you gonna hit music. And this right. probably like the only way you ain't gonna hit music. But uh -huh. It's somewhat there, but it's not all the way there. <laughs> okay. So it's like I was just faced with music in every direction. You right. Know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> all right. So um, and it, it, it's one thing that 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 really. It, it really touches me it is is true to heart tracks yeah, no and right. and it's something that I talked to you a little bit about 
Um, one of my favorite tracks, first off, one of the first tracks that I ever heard from you is Bleed. Right. Um, and that's a real personal track. Tell, tell, the, tell the viewers out here, you know, why is that so personal and so touching for you? Well, my brothers, man, I, I, we was doing a, um, I had a clique, man, called the Black Government Gang at one point. And, um, you know, it, 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 we, we had the city on smash. Everybody loved who we, who we were, you know what I'm saying, as, as, a, as a family. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just stopped seeing eye to eye for a minute, you know what I'm saying, and certain things happened. And it put me in a dark period, in a dark point of my life, you know what I'm saying. And I was kind of hurt by the situation, but... You know, we we uh, finally got a chance to reconcile and put everything back together, and we all we all good. But that's where bleed came from. It came from that situation. You know what I'm saying? And it, it was just a hurtful situation. But I guess the pain translated to the record, and everybody right. liked the record, so it was just like, yo, roll with it. And it's man? definitely it's, it's a yeah. dope track. I One time for my niggas still riding with me. Two nuts for them niggas who colliding with me. Friend of foe, nigga, I don't give. Cross the line, nigga, it won't be a touchdown I'm the m***a nigga now who disagree And I'm in the streets, I don't need a click with me Self-made, turn nothing into something, yeah Solid nigga nowadays, it's so rare Niggas shooting at me with subliminals I guess they done forgot that I'm a criminal I question niggas' hearts like an interview Cause they be always talking what they finna do But I let the chopper talk back Direct a nigga, shoot the clip and call rap Respect a nigga gangster, still in all black If I ain't black love, what the f*** call that? Another track, you know, Hurt So Bad is, oh, is one of my favorite tracks, too. That is my favorite. Okay. That's, uh, that's my favorite. That's my favorite one off the album uh, featuring my bro 3D on the hook. Mm -hmm. um, to give you a little, let me give you a little rundown on that real quick. The whole, no, the hook from No Signs of Weakness and the, uh, the hook from Hurt So Bad, it's like, if you notice on the album, it's a transition, but... No signs of weakness goes in the hurt so bad mm -hmm. with the same hook. Right. I don't know if you yeah, pay, yeah, pay attention, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on like it. Like, it, it's 3D. He came up with the idea, man. And it, if it wasn't for 3D, man, I don't think the album would have turned out like he did. But it, 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 it uh, he definitely, he definitely put his stamp on that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, now, uh, another, uh, uh, a real hard beat. And, and track that I like is is you playing. Oh, yeah, tell, tell the people about <laughs> about that track. You playing, man? Is uh is is a dope track, man. My homeboy uh, genius on the beat. My little white homie, my little white brother. That's that's my little white brother. They don't believe we brothers because it's skin tone, but that's my brother, y'all. For real, he white. <laughs> but he did the beat, man, and he smashes out on the beat. So when he gave me the beat, man, my idea for the record. I had already had it in my mind what I wanted to say when I heard the beat. And uh, the song just really came from a few people that I know who were uh, basically playing. They, you know, they, they, do, a, they do a lot of this, you know what I'm saying, but really ain't talking about nothing, ain't really doing nothing. And 
then you got one that's doing a little too much of this. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. So I, I just touched on that, man, and, and that's really it. They know who I'm talking. You know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um now you know, I I I I, you put some 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 bonus tracks on the on the deluxe yeah, version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before we get into those, it, it's one of my another one of my favorite tracks is and once again this album is so personal. Right, hate right, hate right. the love. Yeah, yeah. Talk, that's, talk that's featuring my father. My, my my father Greg Finley is singing on the hook, and uh, that record was just something. Once again, like I say, man, I, I deal with a lot coming up in, in my city, man. You get a lot of. Hey, you know, people love to see you doing good as long as you're not doing better than them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you start doing better than them, then that's when all the shade come and all the hate and all the envy and jealousy and all that. So I just touched on that on Hate to Love Me. But my father, man, he 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 sound like a young dude singing that hook on that, man. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my pops, man. Shout out to Pop Dudes. <laughs> so one thing that I pride myself in, in, in being, mm -hmm. um, hopefully you can see that from us, being able to politic is being yeah. authentic. Yeah, no doubt. Um, no doubt and, no doubt. And, and that's something that you added on uh, with, with the big homie. Talk talk to yeah. the people. Tell them who on it. Yeah. You know, why they need to check that. And, and yeah. why did you feel like you had to give the people a little bit more on a deluxe? Well, I, I felt like, for one, I wanted to give the people more on the deluxe because, you know, I, I just wanted to do something different from what everybody was used to. Like, when they get albums from me, they get that, and that's it. They don't get, and I, I wanted to, you know, do something different and, and be more um, giving to the people that support me because they feel like I don't give them enough. So right. I gotta give y'all something extra. But the authentic record, man, y'all ain't song. never satisfied, Yo, man. Never. Authentic man is, is like one of my favorites outside of her so bad, and uh, it's featuring the big homie Trick Trick, man, mm -hmm. and. It was just a record, man. I, 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 I was in the basement one day. I came up with the beat, and I figured, like, yo, let me put, let me put Trick on this. You know what I'm saying? Because the, around the time I did the record, he was, he was in, man, dude was in work mode. When I say dude was clowning, like dude was really in work mode. So I'm like, let me catch him while he hot. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. And I caught him while he was hot, and he put that verse on there and snapped. So. Authentic is just one of the dopest records. My man, my son, singing the hook on it. It's dope. You okay. Know what I'm All right. So I, I, this this is was so curious to me, Gov. I, I gotta. How the heck did you link up with the the, the porn queen herself, <laughs> Pinky? How, and how did you get her on the hook? Okay, tell me. Tell, how did that even? How did that even happen, man? <laughs> All right, man. It's like this. You know, no funny shit did, 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 Hold up, is it another video that we might need to see that you might have coming out too with you and Pinky? No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he not answering that. Listen, How did he get it on? Let, me, let me clear this up, man. Sarah, Pinky is okay. my sister. All right, all right. We're family. Okay, all right. All right. All right. Clear it up. We yeah. are family. Clear it no, up. No, 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 no. Listen, man, there's no hanky panky going right, on, okay. man. All, all right. right, all right. First off. But nah, man, I was working with her, man, and I don't know if people like was familiar with the the point in time when she was doing music. Mm -hmm. I was her main engineer, her main producer. Oh wow! You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So I, I was doing a lot of her tracks, and you know we was in the studio heavy. You know what I mean? And it just that record actually just came out of nowhere. One day I was just messing around on the keyboard, and she was like, "That's dope. I think you need to finish that." And I mm -hmm. finished it, and she came up with the hook and all that, and I just did the verses and. Psh, the rest is history. Wow. Sarah, Sarah is actually talented, man. Like, okay. She's more talented than what people give her credit for. Like, they look at the porn stuff mm -hmm. and think that's where she, her limit is. Mm -hmm. They think that's what, nah, mm -hmm. she, she, she does a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Now, see, and that's, that's yeah. real, that's, that actually taught me something. Yeah. Because I, I didn't know that you was involved, you know, yeah. with the engineering and all yeah, of that, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was out of the crib, man. She, I, she'd bring me out to Cali. You know, I'll be out there for months at a time just wow. working, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like and, and, and she's very, very hospitable as far as making sure you're taking care of the mm -hmm. food. You know, you got what you need around the house and things of that nature, man. She's just cool people. Like I that's one thing I want people to understand. Don't never get it twisted because she does porn. That doesn't mean that's her life. You right. know what I'm saying? She does that for a hustle. It, it is what it is, but as a person, 
Genuine. Okay. Very genuine. All right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, one other thing that I, and, and you know, shout out to Lil Gut. Um, <laughs> you know, like I said, your family is really yeah, involved yeah, yeah. In, in, in your music. Yeah. Just, just tell the people a little bit about why, first off, why is that important for you? Because it seems like it is. And secondly, how was it making a song? Because I know how I probably would feel. Yeah. How was it making a song with your son? Well, uh, to answer the first part of the question, it's very important to me to keep family involved in what I do because I always want them in better shape. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I feel like I, I want to be the reason, not not so much the reason, but I want to be the person that gives them a, 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 a boost, a, a kickstart, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And, and I, I feel like, you know, a lot of times people forget where they come from and they forget about their family members and people who was there with them mm-hmm. before success and all that and I just can't I can't find myself being that way okay you know what I'm saying right. as far as the record with my son it was hard to do I ain't gonna lie right. it was hard to do because I'm, I'm watching my son in amazement and um to even talk about it it's kind of it's emotional for me because I'm looking at my son this is my seed right and he following in my footsteps mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and, mm-hmm. and He's serious with it. Like this is something that he really want to do. It's not forced on him. You know, I I really didn't want him to do music. I wanted him to go be a scientist someday. Right, right. But right. he wanted to do music, and here it is. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it, it's it's proud moments. Every time I see him on stage, or every time I see him in the studio, yeah. I walk in from work. He's in in, in the.